well. I couldn't understand or figure out how to take out the old K&M filter box. It's got these motherfucking crazy ass whatever on it, and I could not get the son bitch out. It's not hurting nothing, so I'm gonna leave it. And this is the aftermarket dual cold intake. Yeah. Whatever, I got dual now. On the 2002 Dodge Durango SLT. And of course, you see the little crimp right here because I didn't know that piece of metal on the inside wasn't one piece but it's actually separated where I could have overlapped it. So I crimped it first, unfortunately. And then, unfortunately, with another issue, it was a. Uh, this particular one that I got off of Amazon, it did not come with a mass airflow sensor hole. So, I don't know. Here goes my mass air fl sensor flow right here. What I ended up doing is, I ended up just tucking it inside the filter itself and hankering it down all the motherfucking way and hopefully there ain't no air exhaust leak on it where it's gonna trip off my uh, it's gonna trip off my damn uh, check engine light and the hose that they sent I don't know if I did this right I don't know if another video over to this I don't know if that one air box than the one that actually went to the manifold or whatever the hell you want to call this it was actually dry rotted up here at the top so I ended up cutting off the dry rot piece and just putting that one back I don't know if I did that right I don't know it is what it is but I don't have a check engine light on at this point and uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Now, I guess people install these to make the truck sound better. Me, I got a factory exhaust. <laughs> uh, apparently, for people that want their shit to growl, they have to install a new exhaust system. I don't have that. I don't want to spend that kind of money. It's a 2002. This, is, this isn't an everyday driver, but... It is a, uh, as, as you saw, if you were looking at the odometer, it only has 148,000 miles on it for a 2002. Like I say, little upgrades just for looks and shits and giggles. I got my light bar and my light cubes and I got an aftermarket radio in it. And uh, like I said, I just installed the rear hatch actuator arms. Uh, this is my aftermarket cold air intake system now again if anybody knows how to get this box out it's got this funky ass shit all it does is just turn and I can't get the motherfucker to come out and there's also another one down there that holds this box in place and I can't for the life of me figure out how to get it out I don't know if you need a special tool I don't know. But again, it's not really hurting me. I don't give a fuck, honestly. I mean, I'm just going off of what I've seen other videos pertaining to Dakotas. I very rarely see or find anything on a 2002 Dodge Durango. Everything's always going to be a Dodge Dakota. So, this is what it's looking like doesn't sound any different. I don't know about the gas mileage or performance or anything like that. Like I say, what I'm going to end up doing after a while, I'm going to end up spray painting my calipers or get, get new calipers put on. Spray painting it. And I'm going to spray paint my rear drum. The 
color blue because, well, why so blue candles? So, this is, I actually bought with the intention of doing, taking the car or the dogs to shows and loading them up and so on and so forth. And, uh, initially bought it for hauling wood. Then it turned into a show car or a show transport. So, this is what I'm doing on my Saturday. All right, folks. Robert of YSL Blue Kennels, located in Candler, North Carolina. Y'all can reach me on Facebook or Instagram. We do shows, we do breeds. Holler at y'all.